Uh, let's get started with electronics basics. So what should you know for pinball? Pinball machines basically get like an AC feed from, from your wall plug in the beginning. That's the part which we will not cover here. So that's something uh, which you do not necessarily need to understand. So you connect AC to your power supply unit, the power supply unit will do magic. And afterwards there will be DC. So um, like not not uh, oscillating current, but a constant current or a current, constant voltage basically. And in, in usual pinball machines, we got like three voltages. So 84 volts for high voltage or HV. Um, that's, or previously it has been like 70 volts with transformers, but today you will be using a switching power supply and this would be probably 48 volts. And for a new design, definitely go for that. If you got an existing one, then you can also go with 70 or, or more, but uh, 48 is today. And any modern stern, for example, it's 48 volts on Spooky, it doesn't matter. Then we got like 12 volts for switches, flashers, GIs, and then we often got like five volts for logic parts, so power your CPUs, and often also like serial LEDs, they, they also often run on, on 5 volts. They do not have to run on 5 volts. They also some on 12, but the common WS2811 or 12, they run on, 12 volts, uh, on 5 volts. So that's just to keep in mind. Um, so now we go into the real interesting one. And that's the only, yeah, that's one of the few slides with this formulas. But those are important. So there is U, that's the voltage, U at R, the resistance, and I, that's the current. That's important. Keep this, you need to know that. So, and they're like, it's like URI, U, R, I. And you need to know that the voltage is um, the resistance multiplied by the current. And we will have examples in a, in a, in a second. Similarly, you do got the current, which is voltage divided by resistance. Or if you just, I mean, transform the equation, it's also resistance equals voltage divided by current. And that's the basic stuff you need to know. So with that, you can calculate almost anything in your pinball machine. And really important, we will come to that in a minute. Then there's P, that's for power, and power is equals voltage multiplied by the current. So it's that simple. Um, units are voltage, uh, voltage is, um, is um, uh, yeah, it's voltage, U is voltage, right? Uh, e is uh, current, it's amp, ampere, amp amperes, uh, amps, um, and resistance is ohm, and power is watts, 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 yeah. Yeah, ohmsches law, ohmsches law, ohmsches gesetz. And um, that's exactly what it is. So that's important. It's DC. It's um, that's the law you need to know. And there are two things you should know in general, like any voltages or LEDs, but like a fixed voltage drop. So they always drop like two and two and something volts. Um, and the resistance is like variable, and it, get, it just gets brighter. And then there are resistors, coils, or bulbs. They got like a kind of constant resistance. It's always the same. Um, I mean, like, there are some specialties with coils and electromagnetivity, but it doesn't really matter that much in a pin. And um, I prepared two, two examples for you. The first one is this one. So um, consider uh, we, got, uh, we got like a very basic, um, very basic schematic. Like we got here, we got like some voltage supply. That's your power supply here. And consider that it has five volts, gives five volts. And we got some resistor here and we got a diode. And an LED, for example, it's a diode. So this LED, let's just consider it has like three volts voltage drop. Um let's say let's say we, we know that. And you typically want like 20 milliamps of current. That's something which is good for, for an LED, usually, roughly. So then you can calculate um, this resistor here. So we know that this has 5 volts, 
and this uh, LED will drop three volts. So as the voltage cannot get lost, right? So the voltage flows from here around to to the drain or to the sink of the power supply here uh, to ground. That's ground, and like it's five volts here, three volts I got get lost here. So this one has to lose two volts some somehow. And based based of that, based of like the current and the voltage that we know that that drops here, we can calculate that this resistor has to have 100 ohms if we want to have 20 milliamps here. Um, that's can that can be basically um, calculated with that um, formula here, right? So R is U two volts divided by 20 milliamps, and then we get 100 ohms. Um, yeah, so that's very basic. Then we can also calculate like how much heat will this dissipate. So like this resistor has two volts and it will have 20 milliamps. And if we multiply that, that's 0.04 watts, watts, right? That's not much, that's fine. So like for a normal resistor, a quarter watt is what it, what it can like generate. Like that's for, for one simple LED. Now let's, let's go to a, like a more practical example in your pinball machine. Um, that's this one here. So let's put like the power supply is now 48 volts. Very typical power supply. We got some resistor here. I will explain in a minute, but let's for now just assume it's zero ohms. So it's a perfect resistor. It does not remove any, any like current or voltage. Then we got like a coil, typical flipper coil, and that has two ohms, roughly. And if we calculate that, it's 48 volts in two ohms. Okay, let's calculate the current. It's I, it's 48 volts divided by two ohms. It's 24 amps. And that, if you know electronics, you know that's a lot, that's really a lot. And, and then if we just calculate how much current, how much power will this coil like generate? And that's like voltage multiplied by current. Then we got 1152 watts. And if you know like your toaster in your kitchen, that's roughly what your toaster will generate as heat. And um, you can probably imagine that like this coil will like burn up quickly. And some people probably have met this experience. So if you connect the coil, to your power supply without anything else, it will burn up. And that's basically the reason here. So now consider like this is a resistor here and I put it for, uh, for a reason. And that's because like you got a wire. So something like that, that's a wire. And in the end, this has some resistance. And so we can model that here with like a resistor. So if we take the same thing here again, and uh, just consider this wire like let's put this two meters of wire there and then this looks a little bit different so now we got like this wire and let's think it's 0.1 ohms roughly maybe a little bit more a little bit less and then uh, we still got 48 volts now mm, we can calculate like the the, the resistance of all parts it's 2.1 ohms 2 ohms to dot plus but one ohms, it's 2.1 ohms. And with that, we know that our current will now be 22.9 amps, a little bit less. And we can calculate for this resistor with this, current, this formula R multiplied by I. We know that there will be 2.4, uh, 2.3 volts lost just in the wire. So this wire will lose voltage for you because there's current flowing. Then we can again, that like the remaining current will go to the coil and this coil um, will now have like 45 volts only and that's like a little bit less than 48 and it will still like generate 1050 watts uh, of power so it gets thick it's very very hot uh, but uh, the wire will also like have 0.23 watts of um, of heat so that's that will get warm so that wire definitely get will get warm. It won't burn, won't get really hot, but it will get warm. And that's basically it's the very basic thing you should know about electronics. Um, 
in PIMBO. With that, you can calculate anything. And just to have an understanding, if you follow those two examples, you, you get an idea how this works.